So did you did you all learn anything from Louis the Fourteenth? Now, who are you supposed to be? Uh, I'm William Pitt, the first Earl of Chatham. All right, and do you and Louis get your hair done at the same place? No, this is actually a horse hair wig. So if you've ever watched, like, uh, ever see on uh, TV some of the, like they had the magistrates, they'd have, it was kind of a fashion thing. They thought if they put this on, it'd make them look smarter. Um, or maybe but, cover up their bald spots. Yeah, right, yeah, cover up their go. bald spots and... So, but that's, it's, that's another confusing thing, like why you got this on. It was kind of a fashion thing. Aren't you guys glad you're not wearing that stuff? Yeah. Yeah, there you go. I like your hat, though. All right, next one. Louis the Fourteenth here will talk to you. No, it's not. <laughs> it's, what were you again? Uh, William Pitt, first that's right. Earl of Chatham. Go, well, aren't you supposed to tell him something, or are you supposed to ask questions? <laughs> we we talk if you got if you got any questions. Okay. Well, you know the whole why they even bothered to call this Chatham County. Well, what happened is William Pitt, because he was born in 1708. Okay, so over 300 years ago, and when he be, he became involved in politics, and what ended up happening is. The Kingdom of England had a war going on on two continents. They had the Seven Year War in Europe. They had the French and Indian War going on here. The French and their Indian buddies, the British and their Indian buddies, were fighting the who's going to get America. And then William Pitt became put in charge of the military because until he was, England was kind of getting their hind ends kicked. He ended up making it so that they could prevail the downside was England, the Kingdom of England, went bankrupt. They taxed the colonies harshly to try to make up that money. You know, back in the Kingdom of England, there was people actually starving to death. They were so bankrupt. And that would have been bad enough, but there was no representatives from the colony in Parliament. So taxation without representation. And that's why the colonists really admired William Pitt the elder because he was trying to speak up for the colonists and the parliament unfortunately ignored him and we know how that played out. Now did we get the answer to the question why this is ch called Chatham County? William Pitt, first Earl of Chatham. Oh, was, there you was, go. That was his... Uh... So you have to wait three minutes for that answer. <laughs> but no, and you get, how often do you reenact? I used to do it twice a month. Okay. But um, with COVID, because we do the Chatham County Historical Association. Yeah, it's open all, Wednesday nights. Well, Wednesdays. It, it was all fourth graders in the county would do a field trip to the museum. And the Chatham County Historical Association has a, got a great setup, a great presentation for the kids. When they get all done doing all these different stations in the museum, they go up to the courthouse. And I come out as William Pitt and do a reenactment. You know, and, and my picture's hanging on, it. coincidentally, the, there's an oil painting in red of William Pitt, um, the elder. Okay. And you don't play Santa Claus during wintertime now, do you? No. No, no. no I had to get that up. All right. Up. William Pitt. Hey, we who got, are you? I'm Gene Gallon with the Chatham Journal. This oh, will be Gene. Okay. This will be on YouTube and Facebook. Oh, so geez. you did a good, good history lesson. Now folks know why it's Chatham County. <laughs>